just going to hold. It's a very sensitive area, so she's thinking about this. There you go. That's what I wanted. We're on the Tuber sacralis is the landmarks at the sacrum where the ilium meets the sacrum. The sacrum is the triangular bone. It's much more triangular on humans, but it's right up in here, but you can feel the landmarks. Whoa. So here we are, Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue in Maryland, and this is Comet, but we're not doing Comet right now, we're just gonna do maple? Maple? Maple. Like it, as in the syrup. And look how pretty maple is. Everybody come look. Maple is a 26 year old spotted draft, right? Yes. Right, and she, um, what do we know about her? She was, um, you can just tell me and I'll say it again. So she came in about six months ago. She was surrendered to the farm. Pretty much, is that it, Bonnie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna take a look at her. Look at look at her coloring, though. You know, to ride her, right? Is she fun to ride? Yes. All right. So we're gonna. She's a little sweaty. Look at all the sweat. But that's okay. I like I like that. And I'm just gonna take a look and. Say hello, and um, looking at you. And here's your little tighter on the left. So I'm, I can get two fingers here on this side. Here you can come look. That's kind of cool to see. I can't even get two fingers in. I got a finger in, but I can't get the second one flat. Now she's flexing away, but when she's forward, I can't get the two fingers in. Now come around this space turning away. So my fingers are between the wing of the atlas and here the two fingers flatten out nice and easy. Do you see that? So that means the left side is a little tighter and so I'm going to do that but I'm not going to do it first because I want her to get to know me a little bit and I'm going to feel up here coming down the neck Seeing the shoulders, checking the spine. And got a little tension up here at the waters. Does she kick a little bit? Oh, no, she's just getting at flies. Okay. But she doesn't kick you a lot. No. I'm coming around the back, okay? And I'm just looking at the hips, I'm looking at the tension. Seeing if there's any breathing tension. I don't. The breathing is nice and relaxed. Now this back left is the problem, I think, right? Uh, front. Now let's square her up a little bit. So I'm going to have you come up a little bit more, and let's wait till she stops. Okay, right there. She's squared up in the back. And you've had problems in the front left. Mm -hmm. We won't be able to see the hoofs so easy in this because we're in tall grass. So we'll just do what we can do. But she's squared up now. So I'm just looking. I'm seeing what I'm finding before I start. I like to really take a look to understand and then to take action. But she's been, um, what have you noticed with her front left? Is it more when you're riding her or just? Uh, when she was being ridden. Yeah. Does she, is she resistant to turn to the left? No. No? She'll okay. still turn, she'll still go. It just pains her. All right. Can I have your leg? She's too much weight on me. 
Let me have your leg. So I'm just gonna move this around a little bit. There we go. Just moved it. Did you hear that make a little pop? Feeling all the joints. Gonna bring the leg out just a little bit. We're on a little bit of uneven ground. Good, let me bring it the other way. These are some big horses here. Let that leg go down, I'm gonna have to try again. I lost my grip. Okay. May I have your leg? May I have your leg, please? Good. Let her catch her balance. Okay, I'm gonna just hold it for a second. Let it go down. So, I already figured it out. She's gotta enter a humerus. I'm gonna adjust it as soon as I catch my breath. We're on unlevel ground, which is not smart. But I think I can help, okay? I'm just catching my breath. Let's um, have her square up a little bit. There you go. Can I have this leg, please? Can I have that leg? Thank you. Got it. So I pushed the humerus back. Let's see her walk around a little bit. Now you'd only really be able to tell if you're riding her, right, Bonnie? Yeah. So you'll have to let me know. Bring around this way. So what I did, I had to work quick. So what I did is I pulled the leg and just as I felt it, I used her body weight to do some of the work because it's too much, too big for me to just manhandle it. Um, so then I set the humerus as she was leaning into me and I felt it go and adjust a little bit. Remember, we still have the tight Atlas, so I'm going to do that right now. So, Bonnie, I'm just going to, when I get a chance, I'm going to adjust her left atlas, not a right atlas, left. Bring your head down, babe. A little more. A little more. Wait till she wants it. Okay, here we go. It's sensitive, so she's going to pull away from me. Bring your head up now, babe. Okay. Give her a second. There you go, thank you. Got it. Let me do it one more time. Got it. Look at her lips. Good, shaking it out. Keeping my body open as I move towards her.
All right, so the next thing we're going to do is fix my microphone. No, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our cervicals next. Now, we're to, we already did the atlas, but we're going to look at the lower cervicals, but I want to check the spacing on the atlas. So let's switch sides if we can. Bonnie, you're doing amazing. So here's the space, look. And I can get both fingers in now where I couldn't before. Maybe even more than two fingers. Do you see that? So because I cleared space there. And that takes pressure of the atlas. It takes pressure of the pole. And let me just see how the pole's doing now. That's okay. She's relaxing into that. So I'm going to just come down her neck. There's a spot right here at C3. And I'm just going to stretch a little bit. She doesn't like to laterally flex to the side. I'm just going to work with her a little bit, Bonnie, like this, okay? There we go. I'm just going to hold it. I might have to change my grip. All right. Might be too much. So that, that spot's tender. We'll give her a second. Working hard. We're out in the sun, right? It's a hot day. I would say it's one of the hottest days of the year so far, right? Maybe? Nobody? <laughs> Do you think so? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a hot day. All right, so here, um, I, I still have the spot, so I have to... Get on C3, and I might just adjust it. Got it. And she's licking on that one, so that's a good thing. A little bit. Now she's eating, which is confusing. But here, don't eat yet. Let's, let's just let you integrate that. Okay, that's all. She still has a knot there, so I'm going to try to do some massage on it. There we go, I got it now. I'm just gonna hold. It's a very sensitive area, so she's thinking about this. There you go, that's what I wanted. Let her walk that out a little bit. I don't think we need it. You think we'll be able to get the bail up next to her or not not today? Um, if I halter her, probably. Okay, so, I think, look, so we're going to halter her now, and I'm going to get the bail. Who's this one? It's still rolling? Okay. So we're letting, uh, letting Maple play with the bell. That's a good thing. And uh, I'm gonna try to sink around. It's easier to do it on the mounting side, especially if a horse gets ridden because they're used to being approached from that side. Let her feel this one more time. Let her sniff it. Let her knock it over. Okay, you want to play with this a little bit? Good. You want to play with that? Come here. Okay, I'm going to climb up here. So I'm coming down to the thoracics. They have 18 thoracics, so I might as well stay up here where we're getting some twitching. And here's a rib out, so I'm going to adjust the rib first. Ready, Bonnie? Mm -hmm. That one made a little pop. 
Wait a second, don't run away yet. Coming down the thoracics. We're on the tubercalis is the lambarks at the sacrum where the ilium meets the sacrum. The sacrum is the triangular bone. It's much more triangular on humans, but it's right up in here, but you can feel the landmarks. Whoa! I just got bumped. <laughs> I'm getting bumped. But here we're going to adjust this sacrum now. Comet's checking me out. Ready? I got knocked again. Gonna do a little tail distraction. I'm waiting for her to pull away from me. Did you see the licking? So catch that on the face. All right, and let that go. I'm going to recheck the neck because I want to make sure I didn't leave anything. I saw mostly on the left. There's nothing on the right that I want to get. Checking ribs. I already got the sacrum. I think the ilium is fine. I'd be curious to hear what you say about, see when you ride, how that front left is doing. You know what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to work a little bit on the muscles in the front left, okay? Because I feel some stuff here. So first I'm going to check where the pec comes in, because the pec not, like I'm feeling a trigger point right here, because the front limb has a lot of tension or has had a lot of tension. So I'm finding a trigger point here, which I'm going to get on. And it's right here in the pack. I'm going to put a little bit of my weight so she can feel me. Meanwhile, I'm going to make sure she doesn't step up my toes because that's not fun. And I'm going to hold this. This is a tender spot. So she's going to resist a little bit. Coming down the leg, I'm massaging now, I'm looking for trigger points. There we go. I can't see her face, but she's now breathing a little better. There we go. We're working. I'm on, my thumb is hitting a trigger point and my Left hand is up in the pec, the pectoralis. I'm almost done. I'm just going to hold it till it releases. And now I'm going to let it go. Let's see what she does. Bring her around and see her face. Yeah, we're getting a lot of motion. Back up. Okay. Let me feel it again. So that's softened up nicely. going to come back under the inside. Here's the elbow. And I'm in here now. I'm putting weight in. I'm waiting for her to lean into me. 
and I'm, my fingers are in like this, hitting a trigger point, like that. Putting my hip there. Come shoot this way, Gina. So I'm putting a lot of weight in. Am I getting kicked almost? Hi, babe. Look, give me a little slack so I can bring her head towards me. There you go, come this way. All right, babe. A little more. Good. Good. All right. Good. Now bring your head up. And bring it back down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Down. All right, good. That feels good. All right. Let me just make sure I didn't. This is more relaxed now because this was twitching, but I set the rib on that side. All right, we're done. That one tired me out. There you go. That's what I wanted. It's much more triangular on humans, but it's right up in here, but you can feel the landmarks. Whoa!